Hello and welcome back to our FPS RPG series where we are creating our fantasy based FPS RPG. In the last episode we got work done on our shooting mechanic and in this episode we're going to go continue that forward and make weak spots for our characters. And not just weak spots but also uh, strong spots too so if you want to make more armoured positions you can do. So we're going to go through and show you how we're going to set this up on our target dummy and go from there. So here we are back in our FPS RPG project and last time we were here we got the game returning damage when we hit them with our gun. Okay. But what we're going to do now is make it so we get different damage based upon different parts of the body. So let's go ahead and look at how we accomplish this. So I'm going to go and edit my target dummy uh, blueprint and in our point damage we are getting the hit info. From this, we can get which bone we're hitting. So we're going to go break, hit result. And you'll see now you've got hit bone name. So if I were to just print string for now, the hit bone name, compile, save. And I'll shoot it now. You can see on top left there, it is printing out the name of the bone I'm hitting. Okay. So that is what we're going to be using to add damage modifiers to our uh, target dummy. So on our target dummy here, what we're going to do is I'm just going to minimize this. So just hit bone on its own, get rid of the pinch string. And now we just need a way of keeping track of which bone we've hit and returning what damage modifier it has. Now for this, I'm going to actually use something that we uh, haven't made yet. I'm going to go into my game folder, go into our blueprints, and we're going to add a interface folder. And we're going to make a combat interface. So we go to blueprints, blueprint interface, and we call it I combat interface. And we're going to open it up. And in there, we're going to get damage uh, bone modifier. And on that, we're going to put in what bone we are hitting. Or better yet, just a hit result would be just fine. We can just do hit, hit result, and hit. And the output for this is going to be a float modifier. Hit compile and save that. We're then going to go back to our target dummy, go to its class settings, and we're going to add the implemented interfaces and search for our combat interface. When we've done that, you'll see on the left hand side the interface for get damage bone modifier has now appeared. So I'm going to double click on this, and here we've got the hit result coming into a modifier. So what I'm going to do here, take the hit result here, break it open, and get that hit bone name. So what we're going to do then is we need to, a way of tracking what bone we're hitting and the result of that. So I'm going to add a variable in here in this case, and we'll do bone damage modifiers. That's going to be a name, and we're going to turn it into a map with the float. So name and float are the map. So I'm going to drag that out, get, and I'll do find value. I'm going to find the hit bone name. And we can minimize that now. So this will return the value plus a boolean. So the boolean indicates whether or not it found it or not, uh, which is going to be important for us because we need to know whether or not we're going to modify it or leave it alone. So I'm going to take the modifier here and I'll do select float and I'll plug in the boolean here. So if it's true and it's A, that'll be the value we're getting from the find. If it's false, it will choose B, and that will be set to 1. So the modifier will multiply it by 1, and therefore have no problem. So then on our target dummy, we can change what damage we're getting by going to our damage modifiers, go to default value, and add in the various names. So if I type in head, and change that to 3, that means I'm going to get 3 times the amount of damage coming from the head. If I do uh, thigh underscore L, that'd be 0 0.5 damage, yeah. 
So you do that, and then you go back to your event graph, and on the point damage here, you're going to drag out that interface call, like so, and put in the hit info on our uh, on our function, and then a modifier. We're going to take this and multiply that by the damage coming in, and put in our result. So let's take a look at that now in game. So if I shoot the chest, we're getting 10. Shoot the head, we're getting 30. Shoot the leg. Uh, one of them, there you go, it's getting five. Everything else is going to give us 10. But yeah, there you go. We can now dictate whereabouts on the body we want to hit. Because uh, not all the time you're going to have characters which uh, their heads are the weak spot. It could be something else on the character that could be a weak spot. In which case, you just type in the weak spot names and change how it modifiers. So there you go. We can now customize our damage per bone in a nice, easy manner per character. And we can see some more examples of that as we go through adding different types of enemies to the game. But in the next episode, we can actually make that damage now deal some health damage. And so we're going to go through the stat system in the next episode, which you can find right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. We can find all my videos early before everyone else from just $1 a month. Thank you so much to all the patrons and YouTube members for their continued support in the channel. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.